Hi guys, uh, here's another video that I want to uh, use in order to demonstrate for you guys how to make sure that your summary page looks right. And one point of emphasis that I already made is when you duplicate the lesson, lesson 8, you have to make sure uh, that there are no spaces around these words. So here's what I'm going to show you next. Let's suppose uh, today's lesson is lesson 8 and I'm going to be the teacher of it. Okay, and here's what I see. I see in column C a bunch of new words and none of these words were used in homework what I would do right away is now I would duplicate lesson 8 I will rename it and call it lesson 9 and then what I would do I will go back to lesson 8 and I will completely get rid of all the new words in lesson 8 and in this case my summary page will have 0 in column J which is not the number of new words and new phrases. It's the secondary part. It's actually the homework that was done during or before the lesson. And then I would continue with my regular class. Right? I would start working. I'll say hello, how are you? And I'll start typing here. And I will correct and things like that. But let's suppose uh, that um, some of these words you decided to do uh, you decided to do in uh, homework let's say you had a bunch of sentences here right just say sentence one two sentence one two three four five six let's just imagine that it's done and then you said correct incorrect right you have all these right but then you say, okay, let's do some homework. Or, let's suppose the person did some homework. Let's just use that first. You had a bunch of sentences that you talked about, and the person actually did some homework in lesson 8, right? Let's say this is what, how you opened it, and uh, there was a word, a sentence, uh, with the word uncertainty and let's just for uh, the sake of this example we'll say that there were some some more words down here then there was a break nobody nobody wanted to do the word the sentence with add placement then there was another word immense reflect acute uh, and lay down right how will you handle this situation this is the most difficult part you would correct sentences here, right? You would correct them, just like that, All right? So you have correct and correct. And let's say you didn't have lesson nine just yet, so let's just do it for the sake of this uh, example. So then you have all this, right? And then what you need to do, you need to make sure when you duplicate the lesson at this point, you rename it. Right? And in this lesson, you get rid of everything that is already been done, just like that, just like I'm doing right now, one sentence at a time, and then you get rid of all the sentences that you did during the lesson, then you take this and you move that up, just like that. And then you go back to lesson eight, and you do the opposite. You get rid of the sentences uh, of the uh, columns which were not used in homework, just like this. Okay. And this, all of this, has to be deleted right here. So this would be very nice and neat. Nice and neat. Um, way to look at things. There's no breaks. Oops. And this one. So this is one thing you have to do. This is what it should look like. In the current lesson, lesson 8 that I just had, I will only have words in column C the ones that were used in the homework. 
Either you did their homework with them, or they did it themselves, and you corrected it. It doesn't matter. Only the words that are used in this sentences in, from column C should be should remain in lesson B. All the rest of them, the ones that haven't been used, should stay in column C on of the lesson that hasn't happened. And in this case, it would be a very very nice picture. Let me just update this, refresh this here. Where, out of the 27 words that we had that Megan left uh, incorrectly, 8 would be used in homework and 19 would be uh, would remain as the homework for the future lessons. And this is one attribute that I show to our clients uh, in describing how much time and effort they had spent on doing homework. Thank you for your time and if you have any questions please let me know.